wasteful spending, expensive trips, and personal repairs. Those are just some of the violations that Jacksonville's former chief public defender is accused of in a newly released audit. Matt Shirk, who served as the area's top defense attorney from 2013 to 2017, was ousted from office. The new report from the Florida Auditor General raises concerns about the way he spent his final months in office. Now, the current public defender, Charlie Kofer, is filing another complaint against Shirk. News for Jack's I team investigator Vic Michalucci filtered through this 80 page report and Vic you also spoke with Kofer. I did. I spoke with him over the phone. He's out of town right now at a conference. Charlie Kofer, who has been in office for a year and a half, says he noticed a lot of things that did not add up when he took over. So he asked for an independent audit from the state, a probe that found several potential policy and law violations. Matt Shirk was a charismatic politician and quite popular until he was wrapped up in a scandal accused of sexual misconduct and ethics breaches in the final year of his office. Former Judge Charlie Kofer won the election against him and quickly raised concerns about what he found while taking over the post. This 80-page Florida Auditor's General report found that after Shirk was voted out of office, he gave 14 employees around $64,000 in raises. He also donated 14 computers worth $11,000. Many of those were later recovered, but their hard drives were gone, a violation of a state law to preserve emails emails, and other public records. The audit says he gave away nine government-owned guns worth nearly $800 to a motorcycle group, and he did it without the proper paperwork. There are many concerns about mishandling of the taxpayer-funded budget. The report says he used thousands of tax dollars to pay for DUI and immigration law conferences in San Diego and New York City, which auditors found weren't necessary. He also used the budget to pay a lobbying firm, the Fiorentino Group, $90,000 without going through the competitive bidding process. The audit cites a June 2016 crash that Shirk got into. He used $2,300 from the PD's budget to pay for repairs for the BMW he was driving. And he still owes the state $5,200 part of his retirement package. Kofer has demanded that money back, but he says he hasn't gotten it. The report also claims that he used taxpayer money to pay staff to work for his private nonprofit, Vision for Excellence. I spoke with current public defender Charlie Kofer on the phone today. He told me that he has filed complaints with the Florida Bar and the Ethics Commission. He said the report speaks for itself and is honest and straightforward. I reached out to Matt Shirk today for his comment, left him a voicemail so far, have not heard back. He is now working as an immigration lawyer in private practice here in Jacksonville. Joy? Well, Vic, what about a criminal investigation? Could that happen because of all this? Yeah, a lot of people are asking that question, and I'm trying to find out. He has not faced any criminal charges in the past, but I have reached out to the state attorney's office to see if they are following up on the investigations from the newest audit. Once I hear back, I'll let you know. All right, we look forward to your report. Vic Michalucci reporting live for the newsroom. Vic, thanks.